You know the feeling, the silent paralysis that keeps you from your goals, from your projects, from a life of forward momentum. You see others crushing their goals, full of drive and energy, while you're stuck scrolling on social media, consuming mindless content, and waiting for that right moment. That isn't a lack of discipline or willpower, it is a misunderstanding of your brain's most powerful motivator. This isn't just another talk on motivation. This is a masterclass in understanding the very source of human drive. We're going to demystify dopamine, not as a simple pleasure chemical, but as the universal currency of desire and pursuit. It is the engine of your biology. And when you understand its true function, you unlock a profound sense of clarity and freedom. In this video, we'll reveal the secret language of your brain's reward system. You'll learn exactly how dopamine is your ultimate motivation molecule. By the end, you'll have a practical, science-backed blueprint to rewire your brain for consistent, goal-oriented drive. This isn't about grinding harder, it is about working smarter and in harmony with your own biology. Let's dive into dopamine. Most people think of it as the feel-good chemical or that instant hit from a treat, but that's just a tiny part of its story. Dopamine's real superpower lies in anticipation and seeking. It is the neurochemical of desire the fuel that gets you off the couch and into action. It's not about the reward itself, but the pursuit of the reward. This is a critical distinction you must understand. And here's the fundamental principle that governs your motivation. Every time you experience something intensely desirable or pleasurable, your dopamine levels peak but then your baseline level of dopamine drops in proportion to that spike. The more intense the peak, the deeper the subsequent crash. This is your brain's elegant design to keep you in a state of seeking. A momentary jolt is followed by a deficit compelling you to go out and find the next thing. The modern world has exploited this. We're living in an age of instant dopamine peaks from social media, video games, and processed foods. The consequence, our brains adapt by lowering the baseline, leaving us feeling flat and unmotivated, needing more and more just to feel normal. The problem is we constantly chase these massive instant dopamine peaks endless scrolling, quick snacks, binge watching. Our brains adapt, leading to a depleted baseline. That means you need more and more stimulation just to feel normal or motivated. This is why people feel burnt out even from activities they used to love. The greater the peak, the greater and longer the subsequent drop. This is not a character flaw, it's a physiological trap. The path to freedom is not through sheer willpower, but through a strategic mastery of the system. To master the system, you must first quantify it. We can measure dopamine spikes accurately using microdialysis. A simple piece of chocolate elevates dopamine by 1.5 times the baseline. The pursuit and act of sex is two times, nicotine is 2.5 times, and a drug like amphetamine is a staggering 10 times the baseline. These data points are not just facts. They are a direct window into the power and danger of these substances. The consequence of these massive spikes is the rapid depletion of your brain's readily releasable dopamine pool. This is why the pursuit of high dopamine activities leads to a perpetual cycle of needing more and more just to feel less and less. It's the core mechanism of addiction subtly at play in even our most benign habits. To cultivate sustained, long-term motivation for any pursuit, you must vary how much dopamine you experience with each engagement. Casinos understand this very well. 
They don't give predictable, consistent rewards. They operate on what is called intermittent reinforcement, where a win is random and unpredictable, sometimes a jackpot, sometimes a small win, and most often nothing at all. This makes the pursuit itself, not just the outcome, the most powerful driver. It's the unpredictable nature of the reward that keeps us craving more. The most common mistakes is layering dopamine sources, combining our favorite music pre-workout and the perfect timing for working out. It creates an expectation for a massive dopamine hit. And when you are unable to replicate that exact formula, the activity loses its luster, motivation plummets, and the baseline drops. We need a strategic approach. Here is your actionable blueprint for restoring your brain's sensitivity and taking back control of your dopamine system. Tool number one, the randomizer protocol. Next time you engage in a habit you want to sustain, introduce randomness. Flip a coin. Heads, bring your music and coffee. Tails, go without them. This sounds counterintuitive, but it's a deliberate act of preserving your dopamine system's sensitivity. You're training your brain to find the inherent value in the effort, not just the external reward. Tool number two, the digital detox. Your smartphone is a dopamine layering machine. Texting during a workout, scrolling at dinner, checking notifications while studying, each is a micro hit that collectively desensitizes your dopamine baseline. It's not just a distraction, it's a direct assault on your ability to find pleasure in the core activity itself. The initial discomfort of leaving your phone behind is your brain resetting. It's the moment the reward comes from the activity, not the device. Now that we understand how to protect our dopamine baseline, Let's learn how to build it up. Chronic stimulant use will deplete dopamine and block neuroplasticity, but you have powerful tools at your disposal. Here are two scientifically validated and effective practices to healthily elevate your dopamine baseline. Number one, strategic cold exposure. This is not a hack. It is a scientifically validated biological lever. Immersion in cold water, whether in a shower or an ice bath, triggers a physiological shock response in your body and a massive release of adrenaline. Your dopamine levels can then rise by 2.5 times and remain elevated for up to three hours. This is a sustained dopamine increase comparable to cocaine, but without the crash or side effects. It creates a state of alert, calm, and focus that carries you through your day, fundamentally changing your relationship with discomfort and stress. Number two, growth mindset through reward timing. In a Stanford study, kids who intrinsically loved drawing lost interest when they were extrinsically rewarded with gold stars. This shows us that dopamine isn't just a reward for success, it is a marker for what your brain pays attention to. When you only reward the final outcome, your brain dissociates the painful effort from the ultimate pleasure. Making hard work feel unrewarding and a chore. This is why the timing of a reward is very important. To cultivate a true growth mindset, you must learn to evoke dopamine from the friction itself. This is the highest form of mastery by consciously telling yourself, I am choosing this effort. This discomfort means I am growing. You are attaching dopamine to the process, the grind, the reps, the mistakes, the struggles, and the long hours, and in doing so, you train your brain to find effort inherently rewarding. This transforms the journey from a chore to a source of genuine excitement. We began by demystifying dopamine, recasting it from a simple pleasure chemical to the very engine of your ambition. You now know that the friction you feel isn't a flaw, but a signal from a system you 
have the power to consciously re-engineer. You now possess the strategic blueprints for sustained drive. You have the tools to break free from the trap of constant peaks and depleted baselines. You have a new understanding of intermittent reinforcement, the power of cold exposure, and the highest form of mastery, learning to evoke dopamine from the process and friction itself. This is not just about gaining motivation. It is about reclaiming your focus, your energy, and fundamentally taking control of your biology to proactively improve your life. It's moving from a state of passive consumption to one of purposeful creation. You are not a victim of your biology. You are its architect. Start the change today. Choose one actionable tool and implement it today. Start becoming the master of your dopamine. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.